Hello all and welcome back to another wonderful Punitown News update video. Today we have ourselves version 0.89.2. This version does not bring us anything too exciting, but we do have some changes that I would love to go over here. Starting with first, the ability to select players by their chat bubbles. Previously, you weren't able to select the little chat bubbles that appeared above their head. Now you should be able to do that. They also added a game setting to disable that, so if you are having issues with it or if you just don't want to do that, then you don't have to. You can disable that in your settings if you want to. They also added the ability to color brushes at the Marketplace paint buckets. If you, if you want to do that, it's at the blacksmith, there's little buckets there, you can do that. And then of course, if you want to replace the color back to default, you can of course clean the brush at the Marketplace water buckets, which is interesting. Uh, and then of course, they added preventing picking leaves while holding an item. This is something that's been really annoying. Uh, I think it was really annoying last year as well, uh, but this year it's been especially annoying because we have all these new exciting items like all these new food items and uh, these firefly lanterns and all this other stuff like that. But uh, every time you like try to release them, you accidentally pick up a leaf or something. Or when you try to catch a firefly, you pick up a leaf by accident. And it's a really annoying thing. This should prevent that. So hopefully you guys won't be picking up uh, leaves if you're holding an item or something like that uh, and everything. So. Uh, if, if you're having issues picking up leaves, then drop your item before you before you try to pick up the leaves. So uh, they also added position smoothening for lagging players. So if you're lagging, it'll it'll try to sort of smooth that out and sort of correct it, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what that means. I've been confused on it ever since I heard the term. But anyway, moving on, the next thing is that they added full and empty toolboxes to placeable objects. That's right, you can now place toolboxes on your island, whereas before they used to be defaulted onto your island. Uh, and you had to either remove them with commands or, or toggle them on with commands and stuff like that. They, of course, removed those specific ones that are defaulted on your island and house. So now the the little toolbox that used to be default in your house is no longer there. You have to place it yourself manually. You can't even use a command anymore to put those back because they removed the command, remove toolbox, restore toolbox, and toggle toolbox. Uh, they removed those uh, because it's kind of unnecessary. We have the build menu. Ever since we get the build menu, the toolbox is kind of uh, they removed that, gave us the ability to place it down ourselves, and of course, uh, remove the commands because they're no longer necessary. They improved market lantern posts. What they did is they tried to make them taller because people kept continuously pretending to be hanging ponies. Uh, so that 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 wasn't very nice. That wasn't very cool. So uh, they they did something about it. They 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 improved them. So you shouldn't be able to do that anymore. Uh, but if you do see people continuously doing it, then uh, report them, I guess. Uh, but uh, they also improved objects respawning after being picked up, which was an issue uh, after the last update. They improved some colliders of some objects. So some objects they used to be able to walk up right against or, or kind of slightly sit on top of, you might not be able to do anymore. And then, of course, they improved the light uh, of the held paper lanterns because the light need, needed a little bit of work. And then, of course, they fixed all kinds of issues, including the ghost pony uh, situation, uh, which was very creepy and weird. Uh, hopefully it won't happen anymore, but if it does, again, report it. And then, of course, there's a bunch of other fixes here, but we're not going to go over all that today because we're going to start with uh, this this area here. This is the default island. I, I reset the map. There's a command that you can do that, slash reset map. So this is what the map uh, looks like. Uh, when you reset it back to default, you, there used to be like a, a toolbox somewhere in this general area. But if you go inside the house, there of course used to be a toolbox there. It is no longer there. Now you have to open up your build menu, press the indoor tab, scroll on over and find it somewhere in here. Here it is. Here's the toolbox. And we can color it from a like a dark color to a light color. It's not super noticeable, but we do have that. So we technically have uh, four new items here if you want to count it that way. Uh, but we have empty versions and of course full versions. And then we can, uh, I don't think we can use it. Yeah, we can't use it because it's not a real thing. And it's very unfortunate that that's the case, but otherwise we wouldn't be able to delete it with the, um, the brush because it would just continuously try to pick up an item out of it. So you can't pick up the items inside the toolbox, which is honestly a little bit disappointing, but uh, there are limitations to that because of the the brush as said before but of course all these items are easily accessible from the build menu so for example i can grab my my uh my crowbar easily from the build menu i can grab my brush easily from the build menu my paintbrush from the build menu and so on and so on so uh let's go ahead and take our paintbrush and go to the blacksmith to show you the new paint thing 
by the way, now that we're on our way to the blacksmith, I can show you the new improved tall lantern post things. As you can see, I cannot put my head underneath this because it is too tall. It is it is way too tall now. Uh, and so if I wanted to, I couldn't pretend to be a, a hanging pony here anymore. I guess maybe if I tried to do wings or something, but that just wouldn't look as good. So I think, I think that's finally going to die down now and hopefully people won't be doing that anymore. But uh, yeah, you can't, you can't do that in any of these anymore. At least you shouldn't be able to. Uh, but anyway, moving on to what we were trying to do is you can now paint your brushes. So if I come up here and press this, it is now orange or yellowish. Now I can make it green or blue or purple. Let's keep it purple because birthmark. Um, and then of course I can go to the water buckets that are around. Uh, for example, here's one here. I should be able to click that and clear my paintbrush. So if I click that, my paintbrush is now clear and it's all beautiful and, and empty and stuff like that. And we can get it purple again. Uh, what I really love about this is that it doesn't empty the bucket. So everyone just has an unlimited amount. And then of course you can pick up any of these paintbrushes here. So for example, this, this weird squarish one here, uh, and then do the same thing. And now I can make the square one purple and so on and so on. It's a lovely little addition. And I, I, I for one am all here for it. Uh, another thing that changed, of course, is you can now select ponies by based on their um, chat bubble. So if I see, as you see here, uh, they're, they're like glowing when I hover over them and I can click on that and it will bring up their little profile over here on the left. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is for the changes. Let's go over them one more time to make sure. Yes, that is all the changes. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and I hope that you had a good time here because I had a good time here, uh, even though uh, my mouth is still extremely on like pain, the like, extreme amount of pain in my mouth because I bit it and it's still painful and that's why my voice might sound a little bit weird. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all those wonderful things like that. Because when you do those wonderful things like that, not only do you get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become one over yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things, and until next time, stay wonderful.